Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today in the playlist of DFNFA Complete Guide, we'll be looking into some mode operation that are supported by our DFA. Okay, so let's look at it. So we'll look into basically three operations in today's session. One is the cross product operation, then complementation, then reversal. Okay, in the previous class, in the previous video, we have seen about union and concatenation. Okay. We have seen about union and concatenation. Now, after that, we will look into cross product complementation and reversal. Okay, so let's discuss about the cross product. So, we will be trying to explain the cross product methodology or operation using the given example. Okay, so the given example is telling that set of all strings having even number of A's and even number of B's. Okay, so L will be a set of all strings which will have even number of A and even number of B. Okay, so we can divide the whole set into two parts. Okay, one is that L1 is the set of all strings which are only looking into this condition. Okay, which are looking into the first condition that is even number of even number of A's. Okay, and suppose L2 is another language which is looking into the second condition that is even number of B's. Okay, so our language L1 will be basically L. Uh, I mean our given language L will be basically L1 cross L2 okay because it will take all the combinations of L1 and all the combinations of L2 okay it will cross them right so basically if you look at the DFS the DFA will be quite similar I mean the DFA for L will be D and the DFA for L1 will be D1 cross D2 okay now let's look at our DFA D1 where you can see that this DFA will basically uh, accept all the strings where the number of A's are even okay so it will accept the zero zero length string as well as if it if it gets an odd number of A it will go to non-accepting state and getting an even number of A's it will get it the string will be accepted okay so this is the DFA D1 let's look at the DFA D2 okay which will accept I mean the same things and DFA D2 will accept basically the e or set of all the strings where the number of b's are even okay so here you can see that dfa d1 is basically having two states a and b okay in the similar way dfa d2 is having two states c and d okay so if you take the cross product there will be total four states that is ac ad bc and bd among these four this a c will be our final state okay because here a is our final state and c is our final state so if we take both of them then a c will be our final state so these are the four states will be there into the final dfa okay so let's look at our final dfa so this will be our final dfa d where we are counting the number of b's in this way column wise and we are counting the number of a's into row wise okay so here you can see from AC, if we get odd number of A, then we will go to BC. If we get again even number of A, we will come back to AC. From AC, if we get odd number of B, we will go to AD. And if we get even number of B, we will come back to AC. Okay. So, this is basically even even. I mean, if, if the first symbol is counting the number of A and second is counting number of B, so it will be EE. Then it will be OE. Okay. OE means odd number of A, even number of B. Here it is OO means odd number of A and odd number of B and finally EO that means even number of A but odd number of B. Okay, so these are the, this will be the four states into the cross product of the given DFA. Okay, so that's all. So I hope that this explanation is um, okay to understand the cross product. Okay, mm, among DFAs. Okay, now let's look at to the complementation so complementation we have a language that set of all strings which do not contain a okay set of all strings which are not containing a so we can have one another language l1 and we can tell that l1 is a language where it is taking all the strings okay we can say that it is set of all strings containing a okay so it will take all the strings containing a so we can say that l1 is basically the complementation of L okay so we can tell that L is basically the complementation of L1 or in the other words we can also tell that L1 is the complementation of L 
now let's look at it how, how this complementation works so basically this is the dfa for l1 okay so this is the dfa for l1 here we can see that it will accept set of all strings which are containing a so in the given string if you can see at least one symbol of a it will be accepted okay before going forward let me just clarify that in our alphabet set we have only two symbols a and b okay now let's look that how this complement complemented dfa will look like okay so this complemented dfa will look like this this complemented dfa d okay or we or you can say that d1 bar because this is d1 then the complemented dfa will be d1 bar or it is accepting the language l1 bar so what is the difference between d1 and l1 i mean d1 and d1 bar basically all the initial states of language l1 okay all the initial states of language l1 are now basically final states okay of l1 bar okay it's it uh, not only initial state all the you know uh, non accepting states the correct word will be non accepting states okay it means in other words all the non final states will be the final state and all the final states will be non final state okay so here in dfa d1 we had the final state this one okay now you can see this state is becoming a non final state okay or a non accepting state whereas the non accepting state of d1 is being the accepting state or final state into the complemented dfa okay so this is a very easy process just i mean for for the complemented dfa the final set of final you know set of final state will be basically set of all state minus set of final state in in the main language okay in the main dfa if you take the complement then you will get all the set of final states in the our complemented language okay or our complemented dfa fine now let's look to the last operation that is the reversal operation so we'll take a just a single ex simple example where l is the set of all strings starting with a okay so all the strings which are starting with a so if we take the reversal if we take the reversal it will be set of all strings which are basically ending with a right now look at the dfa d1 so this is basically the dfa d1 where we can see that if the string is starting with a it will be accepted if the string is starting with b it will go to the dead state right so this is basically the language l so this is basically accepting the language l now let's look at the reversal okay so the reversal of this dfa d1 if if this dfa is d so the reverse of dfa d will be dr here you can see all the production rules are basically reversed okay here b is going from the initial state to the dead state here b will be reversed okay and all the b will be reversed and all the non final states will be final state and all the final states will be non final state so here we can see one non final state is there i mean final state is there so that will be the non final state and all the you know other states will be our final states okay so this is the reversal operation okay all the non final states will be the final states and all the final states will be non final state but here one catch is there so basically the reversal of a dfa this is dfa right the reversal of a dfa can be dfa can be nfa also okay because this structure this state diagram is not a dfa right here we don't know that this is initial state right so we don't know that from the initial state if we get a what will happen okay so this is giving rise to the ambiguity so that means it is a state diagram of a nfa so reversal of a dfa can be dfa as well as nfa okay here we will discard this state because you know this is a non reaching state from the initial state so we can discard this state usually so our final nfa will be this one okay this will be our final nfa okay and you can also obviously i have i mean i will be discussing about 
that uh, how to construct a DFA from the given NFA. Okay, from that video, you can obviously construct the equivalent DFA. Okay, because the power of DFA and NFA are same. Okay, I mean, whatever the languages NFA can accept, the same number of languages or same languages can be accepted by the DFA also. Okay, so I hope that this video is helpful. If you find any issues or queries into any section of the video, just put it into the comment section. We will be happy to help you. Thank you.